Hello everyone, it is Curtis here and welcome to another On The Back Wheel video. Look, last video, if you didn't watch it, I've sold my KLR 650. So, short story, when I moved to the United States, I wanted a bike. So, I thought I'd get something that I could travel with because I don't have a trailer or anything here to like um, take it around the place. So, I got a bike where I can just ride it to where I need to go. So, I got the KLR 650 which is a really good bike, a lot lot of fun, but pretty big and heavy off-road, to be honest. But uh, I actually really enjoyed the bike, nothing wrong with it. But it's not gonna suit what uh, my wife and I wanna do in the future. So we're gonna do some traveling, and I wanna get a bike that's pretty light, I can just put in the back of a van or something, you know, on a tow hitch, so. But anyway, I sold that, and I've got something else. Uh, believe it or not, I bought it from a trailer park. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Um, kind of got there. My wife and I were like, "Oh, this is shady as fuck." Um, that, they were nice people. Don't get me wrong; they were, they were very nice. <laughs> She's like, "I'm staying in the car." I'm like, "Oh, thanks for the support." <laughs> but got there, the bike, pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, it's something lighter. It's got a lot less kilometers on it, or miles, I should say. I think this is going to be the bike that I have till I leave the United States. Well, I suppose I better show you what the bike is. I, d I don't think anyone's guessed. I don't think anyone's guessed, so it could be a surprise for everyone. But without further ado, here is my next bike. This is it, KLX 250S, Kawasaki baby, another Kawasaki. I think this is the most owned brand I've had now, Kawasaki, I've had. A ZX10, a KLX 125, which is my wife's bike, the little four stroke. Um, that was an awesome bike, by the way. The KLR 650, and now the KLX 250. So, why did I get this? It's cheap. It's reliable, it's a lot better off-road, um, well, which I haven't had it off-road yet, but I presume it is. It's a lot lighter, like just picking it up, it's it's like a feather compared to the uh, KLR. It must be like nearly 100 kilos lighter, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, it's a lot lighter. It makes me think, how light are the new KTMs and beaters and stuff like that? That's bloody light, those things. So I picked it up, as I said, from a trailer park. Funnily enough, not the dodgiest place I've ever bought a motorbike from. I bought a motorbike from a um, place in Australia. I got there. It was the biggest shithole I've been to. There was fucking mess everywhere. And the guy had no teeth. He looked like he just had a lot of meth. But this is where I bought my ZX10 from, my, from actually. And um, But his bike was immaculate and mint condition. And he was, he was friendly. He was nice. I probably just got out of jail, but whatever. Each to their own. But yeah, bought this from the trailer park and they were really nice. It was dodgy as fuck, don't get me wrong. But I checked the title and everything. Um, and it all matches up, seems legit. And it's a clean bike. So I'll give you some details on it. I bought it for $2,050, which is cheap as hell, I think. So it's a 2009 model. It has, let's look at the mileage. Digital speed, uh, a bit more fancy than the uh, KLR. It has 7,820 miles in it. Uh, I rode it home about 100 miles, a bit over 100 miles the other day. So that's 7,700, let's say, on it when I bought it. It doesn't seem like it needs anything. Ran sweet on the way home. Freezing ride home, by the way. Oh my God, it was like two degrees. I just had a pair of jeans on and my like motorbike jacket. Top half was fine, but man, it, my face, hands, and legs were freezing do not recommend it do not recommend it what has it got it's got these enduro engineering hand guards never heard of them but they actually look quite nice seat concept seat still got this huge rear end on it um 
it looks like he's cut that, that back. It has the stock exhaust. It's dirty as hell, like it's dusty. It looks like it's been sitting in a garage for a long time. He's got a manual cam chain tensioner. He's got a TKC80 on the front and a Dunlop D606 on the back. They're a really kind of off-road based tire. I know they're street legal, I'm pretty sure, but you can see already just from the right home, it's really just chewed it out. Get the heights, see, yeah, it's flattened off big time. It's also got the some aftermarket handlebars, thank goodness. I think I'm gonna get some bar risers for this because it's a bit low when you're standing up. So if I'm gonna bring it up, you know, an inch or so, be much more comfortable when I'm standing up or just riding, you know. It's dirty as hell down here. The chain is so dirty. I thought it was, the seal was busted here or something. There was that much crap coming out, but it's just from a dirty chain. So the bike itself, I haven't washed it or anything. It just needs a good clean, like, look at that. So it's got this as well, this rack on the back, which is, it's an ugly rack, don't get me wrong. There are much better looking racks out there, but this will do the job perfectly for me. So it has also come with, you may have seen the ground here, this FMF Q4, which I am definitely gonna put on. I'm just gonna clean this up. It definitely needs a clean up. You can see it's dirty. Um, press to the inside here. You know, it just needs a good scrub. So I've bought some stuff to clean it up um, and I'll do an install bit on that. It's also come with pannier racks, which I found surprising. How good are my shoes, by the way? My old man loafers. All right. Oh. I don't know if you heard then, the airbox is quite loud. So I'm gonna have to take it off and see if they cut it out or something. I hope they have, because I'm putting an FMF on, I want it to be more open. So it's a nice little roary sound there and riding at home, it was quite loud, the intake sound, so. But yes, this is it everyone. Another quick as farky. Should be good. If you have any questions for me about the bike, just ask me. Um, I'm gonna clean it all up take it apart, put the FMF, bit, FMF on, and go from there. I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited. All right, I'm out. Any questions, ask me. I'll leave you guys to it. I'm gonna fiddle on this bike. Okay, catch us.